I would basically say that, yeah, the body is just a symbol that the Holy Spirit can use, Jesus can use, that will strengthen your determination, strengthen your inspiration, deepen your prayer, and to go for the ultimate healing, and truly the only healing, which is atonement. I know for a lot of people in Christian Science, Course in Miracles, you know, healing is a big topic, and I was speaking in Michigan many years ago, and a woman came to me after the talk and said, could we take a walk together uh, later in the week? And I said, yes. And when I met with her, um, she said that she was a hundred percent healer. A hundred percent healer is basically anyone who ever came to her, their symptoms left. Not only physically, but psychologically. And her healing modality was tuning in to her guide, her internal teacher. She would join with the internal teacher, and she would listen and follow to the internal teacher, and whoever she met with, whether they were there in person or remotely, their symptoms would disappear. She said, well, people call me, they write to me, they come to me, and I pray, and their symptoms disappear. I said, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's how it works. Uh, and she said, and it happens over and over and over. This, sometimes it's the same people, they come with different symptoms. They just come, I go through the same thing, they have different symptoms, the symptoms disappear, they keep coming, they keep coming, they keep coming. And so she looked me right in the eye, and she said, David, what is healing? Now you see, you have to understand the context of how profound this is for someone going through that experience to raise the question, what is healing? And what we did was, I brought my Course in Miracles book along, we popped up in the book, in the workbook lesson, and you know what the workbook lesson was? You probably can guess it, some of you. Only salvation can be said to cure. Only salvation. Healing is not removal of symptoms. That's window dressing. As Cindy was sharing last night, when you pray for healing, the symptoms may stay, they may disappear, but you are not to be invested in the outcome and appearances. What's the first lesson of the workbook? Nothing I see means anything. So let's run that through this whole idea about symptoms and appearances. Let's run that through lesson number one, the first lesson of the Course. Healing and atonement are not separate. Healing and atonement are identical. Symptom removal is looking to effects. And what does it tell us in the Course in Miracles? The Holy Spirit looks not to effects, it says. And if you want to accept the atonement and remember yourself as God created you, you have to look to the Holy Spirit and not to effects.